All right, in this video, we're going to talk about lines that are parallel or perpendicular to a axis, whether it's the x-axis or y-axis, and it goes through a given point. All right, so I got a couple of ones for here for the x-axis, and the other examples are for the y-axis. But they're exactly the same thing. If you kind of do it, uh, you kind of pay attention to how I talk to you about this is the way it works. All right, so the first thing I want to talk to you is about uh, how a graph works. All right, and so... Um, if I, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to create another one because I just thought about doing this. Uh, let's say that I have a, I'm going to make a plane here, a coordinate plane. All right, so there's my coordinate plane right there. All right, and I want to talk to you about how lines work. So if I draw my line like this, if you notice, I've touched the y-axis and I've touched the x-axis. When you have a line that touches the x-axis and the y-axis, then you're going to have an x and y in your uh, in your equation, see the x and the y here. That's if you if your line touches the x and y axis. All right. If your line does not touch the x or y axis, uh, let's say that you have a line that does this. All right. I know it's not a straight line, but we'll just my point. My point is okay. So what axis is it touching? It's only touching the x axis. So you're only going to have an x in your equation, all right? And so if we were to count this, let's pretend 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We'll say it's 7. Then we'd say x is touching at 7. Notice it's not touching the y-axis, okay? There's no y in our problem. All right, so let's say what happens if we get something like that. All right, now this time you can see that it does not touch the x-axis. If it's not touching the x-axis, then we will not have an x in our, in our equation. So let's say it's 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's pretend it's at 8. We'll say it's 8. So then it's touching the y-axis at 8. So we'd say y equals 8. All right, and that's how you we're going to do these problems. So we're going to go back to our original problem. So here we go. We have a point. You can see it's right here. Our point is negative 5, 5. All right, we want a line that's parallel to the x-axis. So you got to know what's parallel. you got to know where the x-axis is. All right, so if I draw a line parallel, that means to the x-axis, and it goes through that point. It has to go through this point. And so I've drawn a little red line here that's parallel to the x-axis. Here's my x-axis. All right. Now, you got to come up with an equation. And a lot of times they ask you point slope or, or, or any equation. Well, think about it. Does it touch the x-axis? No. So what, what axis does it touch? It touches the y-axis. And where does it touch the y-axis at? So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, it's 5. And if you look, the point actually has, on the y side, it has a 5. So my answer is 5. That's how this works. All right, so now the next one is, is like we want a line that's perpendicular to the x-axis. Well, here is my x-axis. Perpendicular is, is when two lines intersect. So I've got to draw a line that's going to intersect the x-axis. So if I draw my line, it's going to look something like this. It makes a 90-degree angle. See the 90-degree angles right here? So it makes 90-degree angles. So this is perpendicular. All right, so how do I write the equation? Well, if I write the equation, i got to look at where it's touching, which axis is it touching. All right, it's touching the x-axis, so my, x, my equation is going to be x equal. And where is it touching the x-axis at? And we're going to say 3. If you look right here, this is my x, this is my y, and that's that point right there. So it's touching at x equals 3. Let's try this one. I want to, and I didn't put my point here, did I? All right, so this one is, let's go ahead and do this now. One, let's say this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's take seven, negative seven, negative two. All right, so that's that point right there. Okay, so now this one will say, uh, write an equation of a line that's parallel to the y-axis and goes through the point negative seven, negative two. All right, so they want us to draw a line that's parallel to the y-axis. Well, my y-axis is right here. If I draw a line parallel, that means it has to go up and down. 
And so if I draw my line up and down parallel to the y-axis, it should be something like this. And don't forget, this is my x, this is my y. All right, does it look like x-axis or does it look like the y-axis? My red line. Well, my red line touches the x-axis. So if it touches the x-axis, where does it touch it at? And you should see it touches at negative 7. So my equation is x equals negative 7. All right, next one. Next one says perpendicular to the y-axis. Okay, so we better list our point here uh, just to make sure we got one here. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this one looks like uh, negative 4 and then positive 8. All right, so I want a perpendicular to the y-axis. Perpendicular means I'm going to have two lines that crisscross. All right, so I've got to go through that point. So I'm going to go through this point. It's going to be perpendicular. It's going to make that 90-degree angle right there. See all these are 90-degree angles? All right, and he goes through the point. So it doesn't touch the y-axis. It only touch. I'm mean, sorry, it doesn't touch the x-axis. It only touches the y-axis. So my equation is going to be y equals... And which, where is it touching the y-axis at? This is the x, this is the y, so it should be touching at 8. So this is my equation. All right, so let's go back. All right, so is this slope a zero slope or an undefined slope? Remember we talked about a heart rate in class. So we have a heart murder. Remember we talked about this in class. We talked about the heart rate. So when your heart's beating, you have a little beat then. But when the heart, heart stops, you're flatlined. It means you're dead. No heart rate. So my heart rate is zero. And so try to remember this when you see this. When you see a flat line like you do here, see a flat line like this, there's no heart rate. So it's zero. So my slope here is zero. Now, if you look at the other one, the other one is a line that's going straight up and down. It's not flat. So, that's, like I said, that's what they used to call the flat line is when the heart rate stops. This right here is a line that's going straight up and down. The slope is so fast, it's undefinable. So we say that when the line is up and down, we say the slope is undefined means you can't measure it. It's too fast, okay? So let's go look at the other ones. All right, so what would this one be? What would the slope be for this one? It's going up and down, so it is undefined. What about this slope? It's a flat line, just like a heart monitor. So it is a zero slope. 